I also thought um, as a reaction to what happened with that album, is it that, that why you uh, started an own, your own label? Um, I think the, a, there was kind of a few factors in the situation with the reasons why we started um, our own record label. One, because we felt that obviously that um, creatively we'd run our course with, within the confines of, of the major label system, you know, at that point with Atlantic. And another point is the way that the industry was developing. Mm -hmm. It became more beneficial for us as a band to maintain uh, our kind of, our work ethic and our standards on our own, you know, without having to compromise or give up kind of streams of, of even income that we couldn't really afford to lose to this new system of deals that they were kind of making for new bands. And, and we felt that that would, would crush us, would literally make us unable to be a band anymore. So we you kind mean, of you mean, you mean the new deals they do now with the, the 360, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the you know a lot of these like tour income and merchandise are how bands like us survive. You know, it's like record sales really don't really count for much these days anymore. It's touring and it's merchandise, and those are two streams that we wanted. We do, couldn't couldn't even dream of giving up. So we were like, hey, you know, screw you guys. You know, we're gonna do things that our own way because we believe we can. We've worked with you guys for five years. We know what we can do and how we can benefit ourselves now. You know, we've worked with different producers. We know how to make records cheaper that sound better. You know what I mean? It's like, it's, it's, it's really benefited us in, in so many ways being independent. Yeah. It's allowed us to kind of even find record labels in other territories that really believe in the band rather than feeling like you're a burden on somebody else's kind of, you know, mm. situation, you know? So, like, yeah. like we felt previously. Okay, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, okay, and then you started um, the new album, Memory and Humanity. And after the, well, what you said, experiment of the last one, uh, did you have, when you started the album, or uh, writing songs or recording, uh, did you have a, an idea in your head? What uh, we talk about it, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it's like, sort of we, before every record, we, we tend to sit down and say about, you know, uh, what we should, you know, what we want or what we hope to achieve with it. But we usually do these conversations while we're in the middle of touring the last record and it's usually like up to six months before we even start writing the next one so by the time we get to to write in the record we usually don't tend to carry over those ideas and just go with what comes naturally but i think that for this well, album what kind of ideas did you have then on the tour bus uh, no i was just saying that like sort of uh, some of them have definitely you know i, I feel that you know we, we did keep them in the back of our minds when we were doing this and that we, uh, we wanted the songs to be a lot more, sort of, uh, to have a lot more energy about them. Do you know what I mean? direct. And sort of, uh, you know, sort of, to, how can I put it, to be, you know, have a little bit more pace, I feel, than sort of, uh, I, as much as I love Tales, I feel the album's very, uh, it's ver a very dynamic record, and the songs build up and sort of, do you know what I mean, drop down and build up and drop down, and there's nothing, it doesn't really, like, shift in pace at all. It feels like one, constant piece of music but for, for this I, like I think the one thing we wanted to do was to try and take all of the different things we've played around with and just sort of you know chuck them all together into like sort of you know into single ideas and I think that we that's what we've managed to achieve with this record. 